Today, former San Diego police officer and San Diego Padre Dan Walters is being laid to rest. He passed away last year, but his funeral had to be postponed because of the pandemic. A police motorcade escorted his flag draped casket to Shadow Mountain Community Church, where a memorial was held. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell has more on the celebration of his life. There really was Virginia. I can tell you people are starting to walk out of the church right now and uh, shortly you will hear the police helicopter. We are told the helicopter will be circling uh, this area a couple of times before uh, the casket uh, leaves this section. Uh, listening to the tributes though, you really got to understand and know uh, Officer Walters, not just as a former ball player, not just as a police officer, but as a person. With the sun shining down, his brothers and sisters in blue stood side by side honoring Dan Walters in a police procession that took more than a year to happen. Walters passed away last year, but because of the pandemic, his funeral was put on hold. Today, colleagues, friends and loved ones celebrated his life. A montage of Walters through the years gave us a glimpse of the man who was more than just an athlete or an officer. Before becoming a San Diego police officer, Dan Walters had a different career. The Santana High grad was a major league baseball player who played catcher for the Padres in the late 80s. It was shortly after that when he joined the San Diego Police Department in the 90s. In 2003, he was shot by a domestic violence suspect and hit by a car. He remained in a wheelchair for the remainder of his life. Coworkers who became close friends described him as a warrior who wanted to make sure his legacy wouldn't be forgotten. Dan was a warrior through and through. Dan had a life expectancy of 10 years after his injury, but he lived almost 17. And I'll tell you, those were not easy days, months, or years. Dan spent months at a time in hospitals dealing with infections. He experienced painful spasms in his legs. He had open wounds. And mentally, he would have his days where he just wanted to throw in the towel, but he never did. This memorial was so carefully planned with details such as having the flag that was draped over the casket. That flag was flown from the Southeastern Division, which was the last place he was assigned. From here, Officer Walters will have a private burial. From El Cajon, Marie Cornell. ABC 10 News.